chapter 8 opens by saying, when Jesus finished the sermon, when Jesus came down the mountain, the multitudes followed him. I always thought he came down this way where the people were. But if he came down that way, then that phrase, the multitudes followed him, doesn't make sense. Because he's going towards them, right? If I go towards you, you cannot follow me, right? But if I go another way, that's when you follow me. So he must have gone on this way. So he went on this way, and I was walking this way, and all of a sudden the Lord arrested me. I saw a huge rock on the side, or a pile of rocks on the side, and there was other slabs of stone all across the area, strewn across the area. And the Lord began to give me a, an inner vision and a beautiful story of the leper. And I began to see the leper could have hidden under one of these rocks. So I look at the rock here, and I look at where Jesus would have stood up here, and I began to realize that he would have seen Jesus without the multitude seeing him. He could have heard Jesus without the multitudes, you know, detecting him. So I, I wondered, what did he hear during that time? Which part of the Sermon on the Mount do you reckon he heard? Maybe he heard Jesus say, look at the birds of the air. For they sow not, neither do they reap, yet your heavenly Father takes care of them. Are you not of more value than the birds? And I could see a bird come right to where his rock was, where he was hiding and chirping, almost like telling him, why are you so worried? You are of more value than I am. And yet God feeds me. He will take care of you. Right? So just imagine a leper not being touched for the longest time. We don't know how long. He probably has loved ones, a baby that has grown a few years or whatever, but, you know, he's never touched them and he's never been touched. I think I'll leave the story to the video. And uh, also, when we did this video, I was uh, wanting it to really present the beauty of my Lord, the way I saw him, the way he revealed it to me. The Holy Spirit showed me about Jesus in that story. And it confirmed everything. Topography, topography must be accurate. In other words, Jesus facing the people and going this way, the multitudes will follow him. He healed the leper before the multitudes came. In other words, the multitudes did not see a leper. They saw a cleansed man. There's no need to stone him, right? And not only that, this location goes straight to Capernaum. And the next miracle was a centurion servant being healed in Capernaum. So everything is in line, okay? And then... Uh, uh, two encounter night services ago. You all remember I sang a spontaneous song in the Spirit and that music came from heaven, came from God, right? I, I, it's not something that, that uh, you know, uh, we have written a song about or whatever, but it came spontaneously to me for the encounter night and I sang it out on the encounter night in the Spirit and we used that music for this video, right? So sit back, dim the lights, enjoy. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will be loyal to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Therefore, I say to you, do not worry about your life what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit to his stature? So why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. 
They neither toil nor spin, and yet I say to you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Now, if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. I am willing. Be cleansed. <laughs> 